little after Mills, how, how, did, how did you first meet Stan Kenton? Well, uh, Stan Kenton, uh, I think I was still, was I still going to Mills? I'm trying to think. I think you're in the Army. Oh, I was in the Army, yes, that's right. And uh, I had an Army band, and uh, Stan Kenton's uh, uh, records were just coming out, and I really uh, thought they were wonderful. And I, I copied all, all his records, and I, I, uh, we used them in the Army band, and it became like a, a young Stan Kenton orchestra, the Army band. And uh, there was a disc jockey there, and he uh, uh, knew Stan, and he heard the band, and he says, uh, Stan Kenton's coming into the Golden Gate Theater next week. I want you to go see him and bring him some arrangements. So that's what I did. I went uh, to the Golden Gate Theater, waited till uh, he was through playing, and I went backstage and I introduced myself. He was very nice, and I said, uh, here's five arrangements I was told to give to you. But I said, if you don't use them, please send them back because I copied them all myself. He got a big kick out of that. And uh, I didn't hear from him for a couple of months, and then one day in the barracks, I got a phone call, it just says, Stan Kenton calling Pete Rugolo, so I ran up the stairs and talked to him, and he says, we finally went over your arrangements, uh, we didn't have anything new to rehearse today, and uh, my God, he says, you really sound like me, and he says, you're, you're, you're much more modern, I says, I really love your work, and as soon as you get out of the Army, you have a job, and that's what happened. I uh, was discharged, and uh, I called him, and he was in New York at the Meadowbrook in those days, and I, he gave me transportation money, and I went there and joined him, and I stayed with him for five years. So okay, and uh, 